Again. Good <laughs> afternoon, guys. Hello, Good afternoon. Hello. Uh, Hello again. Hello. What are you going to do now? I'm going to go and have lunch. Lunch? Oh, quite uh, late. <laughs> uh, it might be breakfast, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Not as of this morning, but the situation yesterday was quite serious. But we do, we do have a new development, which is the Bank of America has issued a statement saying that it will block every type of transaction to anyone that it believes um, would be giving money to our organization. Now tell you, say that you don't feel safety or safe. Do you think the same? Do you think that you are going to, to travel finally to the United States? There, you you there, is, there is a very clear attempt, uh, and that is a, a matter of public record, to try and get up a, an expedition. Uh, I've seen public statements in New York Times by officials uh, saying that uh, they are trying to get uh, Bradley Manning uh, to uh, confess to engaging in some sort of espionage uh, conspiracy with me. Um, there is actually concern by some of um, his supporters who have been visiting him that the, the conditions uh, that he is exposed to uh, in that prison uh, where he doesn't even have a pillow or sheets in his military uh, detainment uh, are in fact an attempt uh, to coerce him, sort of a, uh, torture him uh, into uh, providing a confession uh, whereby uh, he states uh, that he was in some sort of conspiracy uh, to commit espionage with me. Of course not true, uh, but uh, a sad thing to, to hear that uh, US justice has, has become uh, so low uh, in its attempts uh, to uh, persecute uh, us uh, and this uh, young soldier uh, now held uh, in Quantico, Virginia. Is this young soldier one of your sources or your source? For there's, the an a, there's an allegation made by the US military um, that uh, he is a source uh, of the uh, helicopter video which uh, uh, exposed the killing of two Reuters journalists in Baghdad in July 2007. But do you, do you confirm he's a source or what's your position? We don't know uh, who our sources are. Our technology is designed so we never know uh, who our sources are. We have no information whatsoever uh, to assume uh, that he is a source. Tell us more about your days now in Hellingham. What yes. do you do? Um, are you able to, to use internet to speak to Wikileaks? Well, what's your are daily you, life? Are, are, are you able to work? Yeah. Now it's work a little bit, but you know, but first a little bit of rest. But um, we see, all, you know, within a, a day of coming out, um, uh, increasing this uh, attack to uh, extradite me to the United States, very, very serious business, may also be applied to other members of our staff and, and may also uh, be applied to um, students at MIT uh, to allege that they are involved uh, in espionage activities. We also see uh, this attack by the Bank of America. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, what are your reactions to all these uh, attacks from, uh, for example, the Bank of America and PayPal? And well, it's showing that censorship has been privatized. There is a new type of fiscal McCarthyism uh, rising in the United States. Fortunately, uh, generating a strong back reaction uh, in the United States also. Mm. Um, the Congre um, U.S. Congress Judicial uh, Committee met uh, yesterday or day before yesterday yeah. um, and issued um, a strong condemn condemnation to any mm. attempts to prosecute us. And uh, the, UN, sorry, the UN is, is, is talking about regulating the web. Uh, what's your stance about that, on that? Well, it, you know, this move seems to be coming from um, China, uh, Saudi Arabia, and so on. I mean, no, no, no surprise there. Uh, it'd be interesting to see whether the United States pals up uh, with China and Saudi America to, to censor the West. Uh, it seems like they don't really need to. Uh, I mean, it's a much more subtle sort of censorship in the United States, which is done uh, through patronage uh, and fiscal arrangements. Uh, what are your... Uh, do you have any words for, for, for the, uh, those who... Um, stand behind the, the allegations against you in Sweden. I'm not sure what you mean by, by who stands behind it, but um, the, the case uh, in Sweden uh, so far uh, is uh, 
a travesty in the way that it has been conducted. No person should be uh, exposed to that type um, of in investigation or, or persecution. Uh, it's not uh, performed uh, in, a, in an open way. There's yeah. lots of uh, uh, underhanded uh, dealings with um, do you think giving out selected material uh, that we do not even have. Do yeah. you think one of that girl could be an anagen provocateur? I do not wish to speak about uh, the individual women. Maybe mm -hmm. it's a personal thing that was hijacked by someone else. Yeah. Maybe, uh, as um, seems to be suggested by SMS call records, mm -hmm. that there was a deliberate conspiracy. I don't know. Yeah, but but you uh, but, but you um, uh, you say you are innocent, and uh, these two women women who, who, who comes with the claim uh, the claims against you uh, don't, don't don't you think they should. Um, Do you have any opinion on should they withdraw their accusations? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We, we actually hear a rumor that one of them has, but um, too early to, to say that yet. I mean, yeah. that would be, be hope, hopeful yeah. news. Yeah. Um, I read something two days ago, uh, a statement by one of their friends, that um, yeah. uh, uh, one of them had been, this is the words used, bamboozled by uh, police and others. Uh, to Uh, taking uh, that step. The Swedish police or uh, or American or uh, other for uh, modern status. Okay. Well, you, you said you didn't get the cover of, of well, Time magazine. Thank you very much. Thank you.